Hey guys, Jamerat37x here, bringing you episode 1 of Let's Play Battle, Epic Battle Fantasy 4, rather. <coughs> Last episode wasn't really an episode proper to the series, it was pretty much just the uh, little introduction video. I'll quickly go over uh, a couple of keynotes about the series again, just for anyone who missed it. Uh, side Baron is here, I put him in there just for the hell of it, just because it looks nice and uh, the game isn't completely uh, widescreen, so. Uh, I'm playing on Epic Difficulty which should be fun. All the graphics are set to the highest because my computer is way better than it was the first time I played the game. And I have played through the game once, but it was a while ago. I didn't even play through the whole thing. I never didn't get to the final boss. But, uh, yeah, these are the medals I have going in. Just just these two. I think there are probably uh, a couple more that are hidden here. Let's go to the credits. Oh, there actually isn't one for going to the credits. Hmm. Anyway, all these people are great. Matt Rose... Uh, I don't want to butcher his name. Rose Rozak? Rozak. Uh, Kupo 707 uh, he's a great, great game designer love him and uh, Halkionic Falcon X does amazing music I bought the soundtrack for uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 3 I do plan to buy the one for this one as well although it kind of slipped my mind for a while but <coughs> without further ado let's get right into it Previously in Epic Battle Fantasy III, the ancient demon Akron was defeated by three young adventurers and their pet cat. Matt the warrior, Natalie the magician, and Lance the gunman had saved the world and become living legends. Afterwards, the heroes pillaged towns for a living because they could get away with it. They saved, they saved the world from certain destruction, so it, be, it may be argued that they earned the right to everything within it. This behavior quickly made them enemies. Fast forward, to <coughs> fast forward to today. A sacred jewel was just stolen from the village of Greenwood. Local legends say that the terrible things will happen if the jewel falls into the wrong hands. Anna, a young ranger has, and a resident of Greenwood, was very upset by this news. Anna quickly prepares to chase down the infamous trio who were spotted nearby and who she suspects may have taken the jewel. And so an epic new adventure begins. And with that, here we are. <coughs> there, are there are two different ways of controlling. You can either move by clicking around or you can move by using the keyboard. Uh, can you use W? You can Okay, so I'm actually going to use uh, keyboard and mouse for this one, I think. Uh, there we go. Just walk up to someone and hit uh, space. Yes, yeah, space to talk to them or click on them. Click around, walk in and right stuff. And yeah. <laughs> also, everyone has... Uh, oh, he actually doesn't. A lot of the people have multiple pieces of dialogue, I believe. I thought they do. I know in the third one they did, didn't they? It's been a while. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, she certainly is. Okay, so before we get too much into the game itself, I'll go ahead and investigate everything that's here. <laughs> do not steal. Uh, the holy stuff. Here we have the uh, teleportation cats in the first game. Uh, ah, there's our first in game medal. In the first game, they had a fast travel system similar, or they had it. Uh, I believe they're like crystals, I think, different colored crystals. Here they have slime cats, because slime cats I don't think are actually an enemy in this game. Uh, here's the warp zone. This, I believe, over here is the stuff added in the, um, <coughs> the expansion, so I'm gonna cover that later. I've actually never seen what that looks like, so that's Battle Mountain, I think it's called. So I'm gonna not even go into there. Aside from that, we got plenty of menu screens and such. Here, down here, or in the lower left corner here, you have your character screen. This will later be used to um, rearrange your parties. But for right now, we just have Anna here. Uh, here are their equips. They're, these are, uh, there are multiple ways to get to these menus. But uh, these are just some of the ways. As you can see, the three main characters from the first three games are also present here. Here you have all your equips. <coughs> Each character has a weapon, an accessory, and an armor. All of the women, <coughs> the two women characters share armor and accessories, and the two male characters share armor and accessories. Uh, these here are, um, I think they're called stickers, or something along those lines. They can be used, all of them can be used by any character. They do minor things, we'll get to some of those later. And every character has their own unique weapon. For Anna here, she has a uh, bow and arrow. Up here it shows what resistances or weaknesses you have to certain elements based on the equips that you have. As you can see, she has uh, resistance to a few basic status inflictions, but she is weak to burning, as she is the uh, generally more grass-oriented. <coughs> oh, I just realized her hair is... Uh, her bang there is actually translucent. I don't remember that before, actually. Huh. 
neat. Here you have all the stats, uh, HP is self-exploring, how much health they have, magic points are how much uh, mana basically, you know how anyone who plays RPGs knows what most of the stuff is. That's how much, uh, how many points from a pool that uh, spells can use. Attack is your for physical attacks, but magic attack is for uh, non-physical attacks basically, similar to uh, Pokemon almost. Uh, defense and magic defense against normal attack and normal, or normal attack and magic attack respectively. Accuracy for how often you hit, and evade for how often you avoid getting hit. Items here, you have different categories of items, such as different food items. You actually do start out with several food items, which is nice. Kiwi, uh, muffins, and cherries. There are generally uh, different types, different uh, classifications of these, like the cherry here heals all living party members, whereas the muffin only heals one. But uh, there are also different ones for magic points, stuff like that. Garlic heals status and problems, and coffee is uh, basically revive. Which is nice, these are for permanent stat boosts. I'm generally going to save these until very much late in the game, or uh, use them on characters that I know I want to give them to, but I'm not always the most strategical with those, I'll be honest. These are for crafting things, that's one of the more complicated and one of my more favorite things about the game, but we'll get to that momentarily. And then key items, which there are a lot of. Right off the bat, you get old boots, which uh, lets you walk around. <laughs> I'd be interested actually if someone hacked the game and took those out if you actually can't move, but I doubt it. That'd be cool though. Here are all your special skills. <clears throat> Basically magic attacks, or um, things that generally involve man. I think they all do actually. Uh, the specials, I think, are... Um, I actually don't remember what differentiates skills from specials. Um, hmm. I actually don't remember that right off the top of my head, so uh, I'll get back to you on that later. Basically, as you level up, or not even as you level up, actually separately from experience, you get uh, stat points, which I'll get into that a bit more later. Stats, uh, this is just basically a brief summary of the things that are available on the equip screen. As you can see, it's more condensed, more... Uh, it shows you like the exact values of everything and stuff like that. Also shows experience and AP. AP is the uh, the stat, the points that go into the skills, I believe. Forge. This is what oh flares. That's what those uh, those things are called. This basically with this you can upgrade your uh, equipment as you can see, which is really cool. I believe every item has five upgrades. Every single item in the entire game can be upgraded up to level five. So yeah, it's even more strategy to the game. And then we have the map, which is huge, and we'll fill in as you explore places. Okay, back. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, where were we? Oh yes, medals. Uh, right, we already went over that. Uh, on the title screen, there are a lot of medals for uh, just about any fun thing you can do in the game. We got this one just a little bit ago. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's these for just about everything, to be honest. So. Oh, I just realized that the metal screen actually like flows off of the screen because all the additional metals added. That's fun. <sighs> now we... <laughs> so much talking. Sorry, the, most of the episodes won't be like this, but uh, just a lot of explanatory stuff and uh, things. <laughs> the Encyclopedia tab, this has a lot of fun things. This is where you'd see all your quests, both active and completed. Bestiary, I love bestiaries in games, I'll be honest. This shows you um, all the stuff for enemies that you've killed or scanned. Summons, it shows you all the summons that you currently have access to. I believe every player can use any of the summons, but right off the bat, we just get a friend dog, which is always fun. He basically replaces uh, no legs, I believe, in the third game, where if you summoned him, you would uh, he would give you a random healing item. So, <coughs> don't worry, no legs is in the game, though, I do believe. I don't remember how, though. And then here are some fun stats. Endless Battle Wave is uh, something added in the expansion, so... <clears throat> I've got some fun stats here. Most of this stuff is used uh, for metals as well, so that's something to note. And then option save, of course. Basic function, there is an auto save. I don't remember how often it auto saves us. But, um. <sighs> anyway, now that I'm done rambling on, <laughs> I actually get into the game. Okay, this is Anna's house, I believe. Please water my plants some more. Yeah, yeah. I probably won't have them. Slime Bunny, if you find little sources of water like this, they generally uh, have a Slime Bunny in there that will heal you. Something glowing, yes, you might have noticed this little sparkle over here, that's where a lot of the hidden uh, secrets are found. One well, treasure that is tracked in, I believe, the, yes, the secrets, secrets found tab there in the encyclopedia. 
I suppose we go ahead inside of Anna's home. Have some chips, or crisps, sorry, because Kupo is uh, from, uh, where is it? I want to say, I want to say England, I believe. Sorry if I'm wrong. I'm rather uh, culturally ignorant <laughs> at times. And uh, those are actually pretty good. Uh, one of the changes that was added semi-recently, I believe, was the change that now a lot of healing items heal based on percentage. Uh, instead of how before it was based on just uh, just numbers. So that's good. A couple stat items in this, uh, this chest here. Coffee. I hope that I will be able to find all the secrets. Uh, if you know of any secrets that I miss, feel free to let me know, but preferably don't spoil them. So only point them out if... Uh, I'm having a hard time finding them. Like, you may have noticed this chest over here that you can only see when inside Anna's house. Uh, there it is. A lollipop. Increases accuracy. Some more side items and more healing items. So let's go ahead and go south, I suppose. It's a very small, small town. Unlike the first game, I believe there are multiple towns in this game, which is always good. Because, uh, that was always kind of strange, I think. I'm just trespassing. I'll put the blocks here to get you out. That seems unlikely. You can push those around. I shouldn't have to do that kind of work. I really thought they had multiple types, but... Oh, okay. Used strength. Nice. Yes, you can push these blocks around in, uh... You'll always find them... The, in, like... The, the areas that you can push the blocks in will be differentiated. As you can see here, they have the dirt on them and it's surrounded by rocks, so it's always very obvious. Yes, this game has, uh... Where well, the first game had the pig molester achievement, this one has... Achievement letter. Molester. Just don't stab it. Okay, let's see, what does this say? I find a hammer. Yes, these rocks, however, you can't do anything with. You need uh, a quest item for that, so we'll get to that a bit later. Here we get our first flare potion badge. Boost MP, that's that's pretty good. Might as well go ahead and equip that. Each character, as you can see, can have three pieces of flare. Um, as I said earlier, some characters do share items. They do share an item pool. So, uh, what, where's that? I know I saw a sparkle there. <coughs> So that does mean that if one character has an item equipped, there we go, that uh, the other players cannot access that item, which obviously makes sense. And we can't walk across those lily pads right now, we'll have to do that a bit later. And uh, the pool of healing, I believe you can... Yep, oh, that's right now I remember. It's not just in bodies of water, you see this, this spot here has a uh, little different marking there. Those are the spots that the slime bunnies are in, so that's always good. Is your mouth a joke, though? You should be ashamed. As I'm playing on epic mode, so this is certainly going to be interesting. I believe slime bunnies. Uh, I don't think they've been an enemy since the early games. I know in the third one, I think they were a summon, but now they're uh, they're even better. I think. Okay, this is our first quest. It takes five muffins, one ice cream, and one chocolate to complete it. Uh, and it seems like we'll get 20 years for that achievement. Or for that quest more. Or rather, I mean. Road closed. This is the graveyard. It certainly is uh, quite a stark change, I'd say, from from what we've seen before. There's a tree here. Oh, I just don't remember if you can fight this. Let me, let me save. Uh, no. Okay, these trees are just for decoration. There's another chicken for you to get your, uh, your achievement there. I don't think there's anything here. Of course, we're going to have to approach this from down here. This switch right here guarded by... Uh, Whatever that is, it might look familiar for you, those of you who played the third game, but we won't be concerning ourselves with that right now. Yes, yes, your quest, so can't do that. Hopefully I'll be able to do it before I leave this place. And let's have finished all the chores already. So it seems like they have uh, enchanted these, uh, these wooden logs to come to life, which is very interesting. The, the You'll find that the idols... The idols in this game basically replace the slimes in the first game. You find pretty much a new variation of them in each area. So, ah, there we go. Yes, if you check around in this wood pile, you will uh, find some hidden items. I'm trying to remember where they all are. Uh, I'll just uh, investigate every tile, I suppose. I'm checking some of them twice because I forget how this works. Okay, there we go. What have you got? Idols, yep. Bring it to life with magic. Anything can be done with magic. They were, they were, they were talking about some of the, uh, the types of idols you'll find later in the game, like obsidian gem. Oh, there we go. Made of obsidian and uh, gems and that sort of thing. Ice. <coughs> All those you would see if you uh, stuck around on the title screen. 
person wants some slightly more difficult items to get. Some glass, a magma sample, and this thing called liquid ice, which is very interesting. It's like, I don't know, I feel so there's another word for it, but uh, we'll concern ourselves with that later. <laughs> oh, this game's so witty. Here you have an item shop. You can buy a lot of materials. Not all of them, though. Uh, that's one thing about this game that's different from the first one. In the first, or the third one, rather, I'm going to refer to it as the first one a lot because it's the first one in this style. But um, you often, you could buy every material right from the beginning of the game. While they were expensive, you could do it. But in this one, uh, there's no such luck. <coughs> you can only buy certain items from certain places. Uh, the shurikens here, some of them you can use as attacking items. I don't know. Most of these you can't, I don't think. The bombs here you can. Uh, most of these are crafting items, though. You can also sell items, which is probably not something I'm going to be doing often. And uh, there's that. <laughs> Always fun. That is a, I uh, believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is... Yes, that's a quest item. <laughs> in order to carry around a spare pair. Wonderful. I love this game. Absolutely love it. More than 100%. Yes, if you have an elemental resistance of more than 100, you will actually heal from that type of damage, which is incredibly useful. But not something you'll incur your encounter very often. Although, if epic mode in this game is anything like it was in the third game, there will be some enemies that will utilize that, and it'll be kind of deadly. <laughs> yes, that's just telling you how you should conserve your better healing items here. You'll have some items lying around that you can just pick up completely for free. So that's always fun. Everybody loves free stuff. I say the best things in life are free. Okay. Yes, snacks, HP, MP, etc. Most of these guys don't say much interesting. I'm mostly just looking around for quests. There's another one there. Another one. Ooh, I almost have enough of that. Speckled egg. That, I believe, is a quest item, so you won't be able to just find that lying around like you did the other two items, which are li literally just lying right in front of her. Okay, I actually can't examine that bag. It's interesting. There's some pizza up there. Pizza, I believe, is the best healing item in the game, which is uh, very realistic to how it is in real life. Just for, uh, <laughs> if you were curious, do I actually have... No, I didn't get any. Okay, or did I? thought I did. Nope, not yet. Okay, there is some up there, though. If it, I, I believe it's the best... Ooh best item, healing item in the game. Heals everyone completely. HP, MP, everything. It's great. And here's a pig. What an awful sound. <laughs> uh, I always hated that. Uh, I, mean, have, I feel like I'm going to have a hard time commentating over this game, I have to be honest. It's an awesome game, but uh, I've never tried to commentate over something like an RPG before. But, uh, yep, here's another secret, very similar to the third game, where they also had, uh, secrets hidden behind the stores here. Ah, uh, we got another... I don't want to go there. Another flare there. What's that one? A little lucky charm there. Clover pin. Randomly blesses the player. Okay. Her layout is looking very green, I'd say. Up here, you have a bit more of a secret. A lanky root jungle. This leads you into a brief showcase of, uh, a much later area in the game, but this is where we get the speckled egg. For the quest that we got, uh, was it over, <coughs> over here, I believe? Let's go check that out, and, uh, there's a chest on that we can't get because we don't have a hammer. And, uh, yes, exclamation mark means that we can complete this quest. There we go. <coughs> For that, we get a couple slightly more expensive, uh, materials, and we get a pocket clock. Our third flare. I'll go ahead and equip that randomly. What does it do? Uh, slow down, that's what I thought. Yep, so that'll, uh, We'll get into what those do, actually, when we actually get into battles, which will hopefully be in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is probably going to be about the length of these videos. Uh, normally there's another quest there. Around the 20 minute mark, I think. I like having, for a series like this, I like having episodes a bit more on the short side, whereas multiplayer series, I like to have them a bit uh, longer length. Hence, uh, most of the super hostile videos we've done so far have been upwards of at least 30 minutes. But, uh, yeah, oh yeah, and here's Pikachu. <laughs> Just for fun. His boyfriend, yes, that's great. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I probably will be doing the 
these videos quite frequently, at least once a day. Well, no more than once a day. But uh, yeah, well, actually, all right. Those of you who are still around, let me let me check out the weapon shop just so I can have covered everything, covered everything in sorts of related in the starting town. So here we go, equip shop. Buy multiple equips for different characters. Get uh, that's actually not bad. I might pick that up a bit later on. But right now, I'm just going to conserve my money. But yep, there's that. Always fun. But if it's anything like the third game, I probably won't buy most of those until later in the game. But uh, yeah, stick around for more of these videos. I'm probably going to record at least another one right now. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later.